So welcome back to Guitars in the Attic, Martin Meets Guitars. This episode is all going to be about the newest guitar in the shop versus the oldest guitar in the shop. Playing the electric ones is a little bit, not, not so much easier, but it's a different vibe and you've got pedals and you've got distortion sounds, you know what I mean, Callum, and you can play and, and it's loud and it's brash and you can get away with stuff. There's nowhere to hide on acoustics. Yeah, that's true. Simple as that. There's just nowhere to hide. That's how it is. And when we're talking about when we've been doing the electric ones, I mean, I've had some fantastic feedback. I've got to see some of the comments are lovely and really endearing and really heartfelt. So thanks ever so much for the comments. I know how easy it can be to rip playing to bits and I don't mind that either. I've had it in my career I'm playing rip to bits so I'm, I'm quite I'm quite long in the chin. So there will be some warts. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm saying. So if there's any dodgy playing, dodgy notes, rough bits, that's what it is. That's what we're gonna get. I think the whole objective of this for me as a guitar player is just to see what the two of them bring out whilst I'm sat on the couch. Well, I pick them up and yep. suddenly start playing. We'll have a quick slug of coffee and then we'll start with the, uh, the Gibson. I tell you what is interesting is like it can take a frapes and it can, it really <laughs> it can, can. take it can yeah. take a battering. <laughs> It just, you just can't believe that this has been played for 90 odd years. You yep. know, how many, how many players have played it and what yes. different types of music have came out of this guitar? That's a great what point. What spirit is in it, you know mm. what I mean? If you could go down that timeline of great guitar players that have graced this instrument, because it's been looked after, so obviously, you know, there's been some serious people who have played it. And the stories, this, this would have to tell, do you know what I mean? It's like, who was the guy that first bought it? Uh -huh. How long did he have it for? Or she? And then why did they have to give it up? What yeah. was the history behind that? Uh, yeah. I just think that's memorable. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Should try the new one? Yeah. See what happens. It's not bad for an old fella though, is it? You can tell I've hit it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing's starting to that's move. That's the most action it's had in years. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, Carl? <laughs> See nothing, nothing of life, you know what I mean? <laughs> Never live. You don't know life, you don't know nothing. You should talk to your dad, you know? <laughs> but your granddad, but your great granddad. Great grand, yeah, isn't it great. <laughs> So there's, there's 91 years between these two guitars. Love it, so love it. Come here, you little chancer, Nanny. you little newbie. Do you know what I mean? You new kid on the street, yeah. new kid on the block. That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you. 
guitars are actually for sale. <laughs> so uh, I promise I won't make any scratch marks on it. <laughs> Two videos later, I was going, where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> Slightly different beats though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's obviously very modern, it covers a lot more things, you know, it obviously it covers the, the jangly thing, the rhythm. I love that sound. There's a ring that comes off these, it's just beautiful. Well, it's no surprise that this is a wee bit easier to play <laughs> than the Gibson, but that's no fair. You are 91 years old, I get that. And this is a new guitar, mm. but it just makes you, it's a little bit easier to squeeze stuff out of it, do you know yeah. what I mean? It really is. And it's got the modern, yeah. modern day features, modern day technology, that this old uh, L4 would never have known anything about an acoustic preamp and plugging it into an no. amp. Obviously something that didn't even exist as technology back in the day, you know? How, how much easier things have become for guitar players? That's it. 100%, yeah. that is exactly what this guitar is about. It's exactly that. You know, it's, it's the same player, but it's just everything's easier. You know, it's like. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. There we go. So, ah, there we go. I'm not sure what I prefer. I really don't. So it's, it's up to you. I mean, they're both so wildly different. They're totally different. So uh, I think maybe a good way to maybe look at it is let us know what bit of guitar playing you preferred the best. Did you play a Fermi playing on the the old gen? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or the or the young stud? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. You just use the site. Leave some comments. The comments are always great to hear, and I really like them, and I really uh, really appreciate them. Negative or positive, whatever you think. But come back to us and let us know what you think. And if you want to come and purchase them and have a go on them, then at the guitars in the attic. Come and have a play. See you later.